Hello, this is my current set of TI Inspire CX calculators. And you should be able to see that certain of these calculators have little green lights flashing. What happens is students use these calculators, they accidentally put them in what TI calls press to test mode. Press to test mode is a function that TI has set up in their calculator so the test administrators can change these calculators to limit their functionality in certain areas for test taking purposes. And the purpose of this demonstration is to show how to take these calculators out of press to test mode. In order to take calculators out of press to test mode, two things are needed. First, a uh, connecting calculator connecting jumper that's available with these TICX calculators. And secondly, you'll need a calculator that is not in press to test mode. Here I have two calculators hooked up to each other via the jumper. The one on the left is not in press to test mode. The one on the right is in press to test mode. And here is the press to test menu. And because of the glare, you may not be able to read that, but that's the shape it looks like. And uh, what we're going to do is kind of show what happens if I escape and I go to the trigonometry button here. Uh, because of the glare, you may not be able to see it, but the functions like sine, cosine, and tangent are emboldened, but cosecant, secant, and cotangent not. They are grayed out because they are not functional. We go over to the functional fully functional calculator and press the trig button. Let's go get a calculator menu first. And uh, because of the glare, you may not be able to see it, but all these functions, the six trigonometric functions from left to right, they're all activated. So let's go get this calculator on the right out of press to test mode. Okay, this, what we need to do is go up to this scratch pad, uh, calculate, press enter, and then we go to this docs menu, and it says documents, and you scroll down to option number nine, and option number nine says press to test, and press enter, and then option one here says exit, press to test, press enter, and what happens is the calculator on the left is that is not in press test mode is resetting the one on the right and you can see the rebooting uh, image on the view screen and we're just waiting for that to finish and be out of press test mode and then we're going to check and look at the grayed out features. Logarithmic functions are also limited in press test mode and some other things as well. They can be custom designed press test mode to eliminate certain things for test administrators that are skilled at that. So here we are with the calculator being reset and we're going to go to Okay, let's see. I want to get a calculator page. There we go. And press the trig button. And because of the glare, I'm not sure you can see it, but all six of these trigonometric ratios, left to right, are fully functional. So I hope this helps you if you ever get stuck in press test mode. Thanks for viewing.